into the woods and quite a few things happen then. They everyone went to go down to the beach to have this competition, if you will. And then also there was sort of like after that you guys went and explored into the woods, discovering that one of the red cloaks had been slain. And now with the scroll speak with dead on you and a very intriguing mystery as you just saw that red cloak earlier mm-hmm. in the day we begin our next it's session like when everyone is still in the woods around this dead body the body of one of the red cloak Otherwise known as uh, Baron Benjamild Aldwood. Oh, what that is this guy? How do we know his name? Uh, Alara would have told you. She, oh. as you might have remembered from last session, was crying quite profusely. And she mentioned something about this guy saving her with his spare animal. Who happens to be a sphinx, from what she can remember. Interesting. Um. <clears throat> and I want to remind you guys that you guys saw the sphinx with the guy, and you guys haven't seen the dead body of said sphinx. Hmm. Uh, perception to a certain I think we, area. I think we already did that. that. Yeah, I think we've done okay. that. Yeah, you guys have already have sort of okay. looked around, but you didn't find it. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I think we should probably uh, talk to this guy, figure out what happened before anybody else ends up dead or worse... Oh wait, yeah, no, wait, no, didn't, didn't we agree that we were, uh, that we weren't gonna use the scroll? Cause like we needed to wait like a week or something, otherwise it no, just wait, fails. No, we don't. Um, what's no, that's no. We need to wait ten days in between using it, but we can only use it once anyway. Oh, okay. Well, all right, I'm looking it up. We can o- we can only use it once, but there's not really any benefit to using it later, cause I mean. Yeah. Yeah, that's the fine. Plot, you know, the plot's kind of moving, you know? We, we need it for plot. Happening. Okay, we what should, questions uh, do we want to ask it? Who killed you? Is a, def- killed is a definite starter, that's one. And then I suppose we could ask questions what? based off that. Based okay. off that, like, why, why why would they kill you, for example? Or if, like, um, if like they don't know who killed them, what can you describe them? Like, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I say I ask the questions so we don't have multiple people asking and accidentally waste questions. Yeah, that's that's definitely We get five questions right, right Sparkle. Five questions, yep. Okay, let's write them in chat for beforehand. So right, I'll them down. Yeah, you write them down. So we got who killed you? Mm-hmm. Uh oh uh, I found something would, about the why, why would they kill you? Why would they kill you? Can you describe them? And can, can you describe them? Any? Do you want to make a? Can we describe? Can you describe them? I mean, specific? it doesn't matter if like if he doesn't know. Then we ask him that. But if he does know, it doesn't matter if we ask him. Can you describe them? So I found out. No, I mean, what like, happened as in like, with... as in like, what do they look like? Because we don't know. They might be a shapeshifter. We don't know if they're a shapeshifter. No, I guess. If you're dead and we found you know, your a doppelganger of you just hanging around, uh, okay, what should we do? <laughs> About that. These are these are the two these are the two we know for sure. Who killed you and why would they kill you? These are the two we know you. for sure. Uh, what level is the speak to the dead scroll level? I've, what's, what? It doesn't matter. We're, we're allowed to use it because we have a scroll of it. So we can No, like so I was reading it, and apparently, uh, if the spell is only a classless, but of a higher level, then you can normally cast it. You must make an ability check with your spell casting ability to determine whether you can successfully cast it. Yeah. And on a failed check, the spell disappears from the scroll and with no other effect. Okay, yeah. So I just need to make an intelligence check. I've got plus four to it, so... The BT is, uh... 
10 plus the spell's level. So what level is it? Oh yeah, who's impersonating you? That's a good one. Oh yeah, who's impersonating you? Okay, I'll add that. Who is impersonating you? Yeah, let me write that down. Uh, what about the note? Should we ask him about that? The note? Uh, the, what, the note is pretty cleanly related to the bad guy. I don't think yeah. we need to ask him about that. Alright. Wait, what about the one? I'm trying to. It was. It was. There was a note about someone's like brother, I think, or was it a sister? I can't remember. Were you asking about that? Maybe because that, that could be correlated. Mm. That was like some note about someone's brother or sister. I can't remember whose. Oh yeah. Um. Alara. Alara. Yeah. Is yeah. Lara here? Who asked? No. no. But um. Hey, can I just make yeah. a suggestion? Can we yeah. ask them? Who's someone we can absolutely trust within the? Yeah, That's another good question. Who is? Yeah, there you go. Who can we someone trust? Someone we can trust within the red cloaks. Who can we trust? Yeah, that's a good one. Within the red cloaks, or just like in general? You have to uh, make characters. it make it as generic as possible because they uh, the spell makes them kind of to the point and very blunt about their so, answers. Gener- so you, generic. Uh, Generic as yeah. in just like the white, the white, like just the most unspecific uh, question anyway. ever, or the most specific question ever. We we wouldn't we wouldn't want it to be too specific because if you say, "Can we trust anybody within the wet, red cloaks?" He'll might just say no. Who can we trust within within, within the school? Maybe within the school. Yeah, I think just generic. Who can we trust? All right. No, but then he might say God or something. It's like, yeah, oh. he might say, actually, yeah, I thought I was right. He might say someone from, like, outside the school. I mean, uh, like, metagame a little, but we also are fucking... The I feel like that's... I feel like, like, I feel like someone would, like, you wouldn't just say, who can we trust? You'd say someone something like, who can we trust, like, within the school or something. I like, found... I say, who can we trust within the school? Yeah. I found out I what the DC is yes. to cast a scroll, and it's a 15... Um, oof. yeah, oh. it's level three, so we can wait a level or risk it, it right now. Wait a level, yeah, yeah, because no, it's third, third level. Oh, uh, you get third level spells at level five, mm. so we'd have huh. to wait three levels. I had no, <laughs> yeah. wait till level five to do this, so, yeah, or I, I need to you make can a risk it. check of 15 or higher. I mean, Which if is, someone has like a 50% does it chance. just. So does it just fail automatically? Does it consume it if you fail it? It or... consumes it, and you can never use it again if it fails. We need we need a fifth question, by the way, guys. We need a fifth. Oh, question. does anyone have guidance? There's there's four uh, questions. So we need a fifth one. I do have guidance. I think. Yeah, I, I have cool, guidance. Yeah. Use guidance. <laughs> we, need we need someone to do the spell, though. Yeah, I can do the spell. We, we need it's a fifth like, question. We need a fifth question I'm as well. Wizard. I can. Alright. Who killed you? Who killed you? Uh, what about the corruption? The corruption. Well, we don't know what the corruption is per se. We only know about like, oh, there's this weird, there's is, this weird yeah. thing that like is what, being yeah. weird. What is the weird liquid? Yeah. What is the weird? What is the weird? What's the weird? Weird living liquid. Living liquid. All right. That's five questions. Wait, what about the Sphinx? Like, should we ask him about that? Like, why the Sphinx is staying with the copy? Actually, nah. Probably can't tell. If I'm being honest, probably can't tell. Hmm. I mean, the- yes. Um, I think you guys can uh, right now. You guys can sort of feel this connection with each other. And you ca- uh, can, quite fra- uh, frankly, sort of, s- sort of speak in their minds. Speaking huh? of mind? spirit animal sort of minds, but yeah. Oh, okay. So it would actually be very unlikely from your guys' perspective that, of course, they would be with it, with him, because they didn't know the difference. Okay. So do we still, what's it called? We still waking them? The DC fifteen. That seems. Yeah, that's like a seventy-five yeah. percent chance to, to fail baseline. 
Which no, we could, yeah, all try, we, closer to 50, we could all try to closer to fifty, right? We could, yeah. we could all try to can we all try to help and try and give him advantage, like uh, just in a massive amount of advantage. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can do that. You can't do that. You can only be up to advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, At most, uh, I can give you like a one d four. Yeah. Extra. With guidance, it's at least a fifty percent chance anyway, because I have a plus we, four plus from a. That's if it goes well. Then. Do we want no, to yeah. risk it? And if you get no, no, I've got a plus four to my modifier, and then plus one from guidance. That makes what's called a fifty percent chance. And if I get more from guidance, it's higher. And if I have advantage, then it's not that bad of an odds. Do we want to risk it? Is the question, though. I mean, it's either that or wait until the fifth level, and then I can copy I think... it into my spell book. But I could probably get the spell from the library anyway. We probably need to like do this for plot dev anyway. So if it fails now, I can go and buy the spell. I can rent, go to school, copy down the spell, the spell library. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna buy a spell. It, it'll be very expensive, though. It's like a, it's spell, really? a spell scroll. One, one yeah, speak with dead. One speak with dead, please. I'll just become a necromancer wizard, so it would to call this half price. Nah, what do you mean? You go on Woolies and you buy a speaker dead scroll. <laughs> Alright, who here has. Actually. Hmm. I don't it, know. It's like. This, do do we use the spell casting ability of the scroll itself, like, or do we use your own uh, ability scroll? So. All right, who has the best uh, spell casting ability scroll? I have plus four. Wait, what, what is what is spell casting? Is it is that Arcana? Wait, it doesn't matter for this. Huh? It doesn't matter oh, for it's, it's not one of so the spells which needs to DC. No, it's for like so the thing doesn't fail because we're under leveled. Uh, it would just be technically, technically anyone could do it, but whoever has the highest ability should. Mm. Yeah, it says you must make an ability check using a spell casting ability to determine whether you cast it successfully. The DC is the D. The DC equals 10 plus spell's level. On a failed check, the spell disappears from the scroll with no other effect. Yeah. Should I try? Let's, I'll cast Guidance on you first. Okay. Uh, I have nothing to help I you. I have to roll so... the intelligence first. So... Let's see what you get. 12. You got a 1. But it's a... Do I get advantage from people helping me? Uh, yeah, we did establish that it was... Cool, I was just double checking. Wait, you can have a natural, natural two shit! Well, oh no! And, oh. and the rest of you guys see a cautious sort of attempting to cast a spell. And then as he's sort of holding the scroll in his hand, he tries to the right and sort of disappears off as this magic begins to boil up around. We all had bad uh, luck in that moment. Busha! Oh well. To I'm be sure fair, he didn't have anything important anyway. As we as we established earlier, we it doesn't really matter because we wouldn't have been able to do it until level five anyway. So yeah, yeah. I might as well do it now then. Like, well. <laughs> we tried. Should we bury him we back up? Yeah, probably uh, give, yeah, him a a give him a, give him a give proper him a burial. Give him a proper nice burial would be nice. Uh, we can't make it look like we're, we've been here, so... Just take I've the whole under where he currently is. Yeah, maybe I'll do a prayer. He's like... I mean, he's under, like, obviously, like, a shallow grave, right? So... He's yeah, like, I'll, I'll just do a little prayer. In the sort of, like, mud, I believe I said last session. Yeah. So not much dignity there. <laughs> well, uh, I, uh... Yeah, I'd say, uh... I'd say we should probably give him a proper burial, at least in this mm. spot. Master yeah. can do was do a prayer and leave him. Easier. Does anyone have mold earth? Mold earth? Mm. Mold earth. Oh, no, mold right. earth. But I bet I'm pretty good at digging. Oh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just push the mud back in. I've got a, I've got yeah, a what they call to dig with. Uh, <laughs> but that's what? It. Oh. We have to place the mud somewhere, so just. Push it back in. Yeah, we'll just put the mud back on top, I guess. Do a little 
It's the best we can do given the circumstances. Uh, or, I mean, we could move the body, I guess, but where are we going to move it realistically? That's a fair point. I, I mean, I unless well anybody has it. any ideas. <laughs> Lumi looks around at the party. Yeah, nah. Let's just go back. <laughs> I oh, so we're covered in mud. We're back. covered in mud. I get suspicious. Uh, yeah, you People are going to know where we were. Covered in mud at this point in time. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be suspicious. Where's the nearest body of water? This is before dinner, right? Uh, What's well, so what? Definitely really wet. Uh, so it's still light out. I mean, we could just say uh, we went to have a swim before dinner, so... Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Alright, look, we're looking I'd for a river. we went on a walk, and Wait, then we're, we're like... we're near the forest that we had hide and seek in, right? That's where, this way we came here, right? Yeah, this is the, this is the forest near the hide and, where we did hide and seek, right? It's like so, the same forest, I think. Oh yeah, we'll find- we'll... the same forest? Yeah, let's just go to yeah, that Lumi, river. Lumi will suggest that we go back to that river and get cleaned up a little, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Would you guys like to give me a few survival checks, please? Survival check. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, how fun! Where is survival? <clears throat> Come on, dice! Oh, thank god, 18! So we each need to make a survival check? A 17 and an 18. No. I'm just following them. Let's go! Oh, we got two 18s. Yeah, let's go. 15 and 13. Stray! I'll follow Lumi, who, um, what's it called, suggested that we go do this. Okay, you mm. follow Lumi, and... Who, who is everyone following? Yes. Uh, I'll follow Tamashi, Tamashi I guess. Tomasi? Of tomato. <laughs> tomato. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's it. That seems pretty accurate. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys are beginning to take a bit of a trek through the woods, following your already sort of destroyed path you guys made whilst coming here, and also that the bear made when it dragged the body. Oh, yeah. yeah. And eventually, you guys find yourselves at the river. And it's still sort of rushing by. And as you guys walk closer, you see a certain somebody who you recognize just sitting on a rock and sighing. You can see his fiery owl, known as Flame, just sort of sitting on the stone, looking up. Her? At him. Who, who, who this? New phone, who this? I show sure men. You guys recognize the... this person. It's Arlad. Her? Arlad. I don't know who that is. The guy who's ex who's in your in the same room as you guys for sleeping. Oh, oh hey man, yeah, well, yeah I totally re <laughs> I totally <laughs> recognize you. Yeah, you I only have seen him at lunch. I, I totally recognize you, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, um, I yeah. totally do not forget you when I wake up. Yeah, um, yeah you, you're the you're the guy that. Uh, that's at the school, yeah. Hi. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you thinking suicidal? <laughs> <laughs> this is all out of character, by the way. How are you doing? <laughs> what, are you, what are you? What are you doing out so late? Uh, just sitting down, really. To be honest, I went to look for you guys and didn't know where you guys went, so I just sort of came here and sat down. I was uh, honestly a bit bored. Uh, we just took a walk. Nothing to worry about. No. We didn't Long talk to the dead. We, we couldn't and... sleep. He sort of looks towards you guys and goes, So you guys went for a trek in the woods and got incredibly muddy. And it also seems like you guys look like you've got something on your minds. I know that look. Yeah, because we've got, we got mud in our clothes. Also, yeah. we have to go I mean, through a swamp. It's not like I, we're talking about it. We didn't do that. My parents had that look when my little baby sister died. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> I whisper to, terrible. um, what's it called, Lumi, he knows too much. We've got to get rid of him. 
Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> No, you see Thomas, we don't, it's we don't, not using expression. We don't, we don't kill innocents, no. Uh, what do you mean? Are you don't hear this. Uh, no, that, I'm assuming that wasn't in character. Yeah, that wasn't in character. That was just me, that was just me being angry at them. You know what else is in character? You know what is in character? Me going to the river. Even, quick. If, we even should, if it was we should character, totally what change the subject. <laughs> yeah, like going into the river. And I, I was well, kidding. We're, we're just, we're just. Well, you're, 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 you are pretty observant. Yeah, we got pretty muddy in the woods. We, uh, we just came here. We just came here to wash off, and then we're gonna head pretty, back. What do you mean that's pretty observant? Everyone can see that. I'm trying. Yeah, please. Tell me the truth. I've seen that look before. I, I just told you. I. Seen that look before my parents, when my baby sister died. Something's happened, and you guys know what's. A red clock died. Okay. Wait, what? I tr yeah, red clock died. Anyway, I'm going into the yeah, water. The dead body in the There's a dead oh, red cloak. Are, are those guys supposed to be super powerful? Like, really? really yeah, powerful? that's why we're. That's why we're. Ro that's why we're worried. Because if some, if something can kill a red cloak, can I like? Trying to explain this and make it feel like what's well, called lying, being a bit over the top. Oh yeah, like, he was still there, yeah, like a black like dragon who came down, and, yeah, like he sprayed him with acid, and that blue dragon was really, really scary. So we ran away before it shot. How about you ask him if we if he has a uh, a spell scroll? With him. No, Maybe like too, level that's three. Obvious. That's too obvious. Boy, we just said that. Uh, right. Yeah, but we're all looking like he's like we're lying. We're being over the top. Like, oh yeah, red cloak died. He died to like a dragon that came down from the heavens just to smite him. And he just like, looks at you with like this. I'm not believing you, look. First off, if it was no, that's what happened. Believe it. Incredibly large. And I don't even. No, what do we even see it? Because it's not, it's not even supposed to be a dragon's nest anywhere nearby here. So yeah, no, a giant the, the, dragon flying overhead, considering it's perhaps one. Perhaps just one was migrating. Up. Perhaps, perhaps it was migrating. Oh, yeah. and, to the guy. You just gotta take a word for it. You must be blind. <laughs> Why are you guys lying to him like this? It's so stupid. I mean, ev everyone's gonna ev shake your head in disappointment and go everyone, into the room. Everyone makes me. Everyone makes mistakes. We could have missed it. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> Everyone in the school missed the dragon. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Even the other red cloaks. <laughs> yeah. He actually talks sense. I'm like you. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. If you really want to know, we found the dead red cloak, and we don't want to involve you because it may get you hurt. You're happy now. You're you gonna may get. get you may get, you <laughs> get hurt or killed. It's gonna like affect everyone here. Shouldn't we be like trying to notify someone so we can get everyone out? That's why we just don't trust we anyone. In this notify. Hall. We just the don't trust anyone. The red cloak that we so. found dead is currently parading there's, there's around red, inside the school with a dead, there's a dead red, animal. There's a dead red cloak with the same spirit animal and hanging around the same people, and nobody has realized anything's wrong. Who do we now, think if we went, if we went and said, said to anyone that, hey, th this red cloak here is dead, and he walks around the corner and he's like, oh hi, I'm fine. Nobody would believe us. And who, even who, do we, who do we go to? We'd be who do we go to? The school would probably lock us up and like figure we're insane or something. Um, they'd the like try, they try and get us maybe, checked maybe, up. Maybe it's we just leave. Uh, we don't have to deal with any of this. We could sneak. We could sneak one of the boats and leave this place. Maybe. That'd be amazing. I'm down. The school shit anyway. <laughs> they have not told us math. How? Like they? Yeah, they are. They told us like, hey, here you swim. I didn't even swim. I just flew. Like, <laughs> what kind of education system is this? I agree. <laughs> They're putting oh, children up against each other. Uh, I don't oh. think. <laughs> how are we ever gonna get good ATAR scores when they're not even offering any math? I don't know my multiplications. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh... Exactly. This is why our yeah. dads teach us this before the ceremonies. I don't know. 
<laughs> I, I don't know what happens before the ceremonies, but I'm assuming that's what happens. Is there still hmm. a boat down by the river? Still, we don't we don't know who this guy is and like who the impersonator is. Hell, maybe it's like some eldritch being or something that's like gonna destroy the world or some shit. Like what that. if Asmodeus is just chilling inside of our school? You'll I never know. Be, think what if, what if, it's, what if Cthulhu is just like in camouflage? <laughs> all right, we also need you to back us up when and when we say we all went for a swim. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're not just gonna lie to every single person we know, other than us. Yeah, got it. I mean, we don't really have much of a choice now, do we? Got All right. It. So everyone else, get into the water right now before I push you in. I am. It's cold. Make me a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh God. Woo. Like oh, one. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Everyone in! And then he jumps to himself. It's cold. Oh, okay, he's flying around. I You're right, that thing is freezing. And he's sort of, he sort of instantly just starts clambering out of the water from the rocks. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm fine. I have cold resistance. I'm fine. I am, like, this is kind of shit. <laughs> I, and I get out as soon as my clothes are clean. Uh, it's going to take, like, a minute to get all that mud out. And Stray? Are you guys jumping in? Yes. <laughs> you guys don't have a choice. Yeah, you guys just sort of, like, jump in as well, and the rest of you guys hear the Is, is Tamashi currently not in the water? I, I'm gonna like. Uh, uh, they already pushed in. My like, H, H, H Ray is just like swearing to herself like a uh, fuck this, <laughs> and just jumps in. Hmm. Woo! Uh, does oh, by the way, does this NPC actually believe us, or do we need to go back and show him? I mean, the less he knows, the less chance he has of being being hurt or like more involved. It, honestly, it's probably the best to just oh, keep we him are, as out We of... already told him the information. My question. Yeah, but is... he, yeah, but like, if he gets captured, he can he, he can't reveal he can't reveal as much. The less he knows, the less he can reveal. We don't what? know. We, the impo the imposter is still very active in the school. Oh, well, sure. Okay, it's you see, Alan sort of just continuously sort of shaking the water off of himself. So, do you have a plan? Uh Working on yeah, it. Yeah, we, 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 we have, we definitely have a, pa a plan. Caution, tell them our plan. Uh, it's a very <laughs> simple three-step plan. Oh, yeah. The first yeah. step <laughs> is panic. <laughs> <laughs> the plan was food fight, axe through wool. Oh yeah, we we were doing oh, the yeah, that, whole that, going into the yeah. forbidden room. Oh yeah, I have to detect magic, by the way, so I can actually see what the what's called the magic lock is as well. I have uh, alarm. So I have alarm as well, so we, it, I could like alarm the door yeah. in case anyone comes back. I have teleportation circle. Oh, that'd be that, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, damn right it is. <laughs> what's your, what's your stealth set though? Because if you get caught, well, if you get caught sneaking in, teleportation isn't going to do much good for you. I mean, I got like never... a plus one, so it's not good, but something. Uh... I also have fog clouds, so. Maybe we don't have the axe through the wall. And if someone tries to get in, I also have the wall of force. I'd say we start the. F okay. I'm gonna go. I say we go to dinner. We leave early. Actually, they might not let us out early. I think mm. we should do it tomorrow. By tomorrow. So we're rested. We just did, like... Didn't we just beat up a bunch of seahorses? Yeah. Exactly. I think getting beat up by seahorses... I don't is think like that it. tomorrow's gonna be any easier. Yeah, so we should go to bed and get our spell slots back, because I already used one of mine. Oh shit, yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> Never mind. Um, exactly. I but, might have yeah. enough spell slots to do it. Also, don't you not get the benefits of a level up until you rest? No, Smile. I, I, th I think it's like, you get them up, just whenever you level up. I've never done it anyway, 
in any other way. All right, so let's go. Let's go, and let's hurry before the wind makes us freeze to death. Yeah. Either way, we're going back to the thing. Or the bear, you know, finds us. Smile. Especially if it, you get spotted. In this case, it's so, whoever can't run the fastest. <laughs> okay, so you guys all sort of shake up off as much water as you can as you head back. Dripping wet to the nasty sort of training grounds. Alright, let's go to our room. There's quite a few people yeah. chilling around, some are playing games, games of tag, hide and seek. Yeah, so it wouldn't be like out of the ordinary for some kids to like maybe just go for a swim. Mm. And you guys, as you guys are heading up to, I presume, where the dorms are. Yeah, to get changed. Heading, you guys would probably see your one of your mentors. I believe this one's name is. Give me a second. Naru, the Asima. Ah, oh, sh oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Which one? Sitting on the second step, just sort of chilling there. Oh, let's how we are. We still absolutely soaked. I just realized we did. Wait, do we still have our, like, did we have swimsuits on before? Like, uh, during the seahorse thing? Yeah. I would say. <laughs> probably no. Oh, uh, then, yeah, never mind then, because it would make sense if uh, we didn't have swim clothes and we went into the water. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you guys going straight in? Yeah. And as you guys I mean. head towards the door and begin to heat up the steps dripping wet, you see the mentor, Naru, the asthma's just, he just sort of goes, <sighs> Please, don't enter the room. Alright. Mm. Mm. We went for a swim. Yeah, well, it wasn't the plan. We were, go we were going down for a walk and then, what's it called? Tamashi just fell in, so we all joined him and had a bit of fun. Yeah. Well, kids will be good. Tamashi's squaring at you. Sort of summons up this sort of very, uh, very sort of sweet, sort of yellow cat, almost like a saber tooth, here, which heads over to you guys. And suddenly, Atrii, you're no longer dripping wet, but fully dry, as the saber tooth hey. you guys. Huh? That's cool. One by one, you guys are all dried off. That's a cool trick. Oh, before I go to dinner, I'm gonna return the guy his hat axe. Wait, why? Why did you have that anyway? So, because my original plan was to smash for a wall. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I don't want to keep it for longer than I need, considering the fact that I what's it called realize maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> Wait, why didn't you just take it back before, like when while we were walking? Back to school. Because I forgot at the time. That's your fault. <laughs> That's your fault. Now you have to walk back. What do you mean? It'll be fine. We'll just dig a giant hole in the wall, and then we'll put a poster over it. Like everybody else does. Why would there be a poster next to a forbidden room? I don't know. Somebody put it there. <laughs> so Watch no one's going to take it there? I don't know. It's a giant hole in the wall. <laughs> Go take, go take back the axe. Go take <laughs> back the axe to where I got it from. Yeah, you may take back the axe to where you got it from. And Uzi sort of gruffly takes it back. Well then, good enough. Well, thank you, kind sir. Now go enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Tell the Red Cloaks next time if they want to come get some, then they can come get themselves rather than sending you guys off to come do their own business. 
Like, okay. Serve your breaks, you know. Seriously. I... People these days. I know. <laughs> tell me about it. Either way, see you. <laughs> <laughs> You can now head back to the group. And where is everyone? Dinner. Uh, it's not quite time for dinner yet. Oh. We're still setting out a few plates. And, yeah. Anyone want to play poker? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> do we have the cards? I might. I don't think I do. Uh, you would be able to find some cards and <laughs> play. Because they have. <laughs> Games and some of your drawers. Oh, nice. And no math sheets. This school is a nightmare. Maths, <laughs> from what you can remember, is only really for the really rich in this world. The rich. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? For, it's, for the Elon, it's for the Elon Musks of this world. So, how does. How, what is money in this world? Is it just. What? How does currency so, work? There's gold no. pieces. Like, Oh my god, this this is a nightmare. Oh, by the way, I don't have cards, but I do have- Literally 1984! Literally oh. 1984! This world is so freaking depressing. I don't like what you mean, 1984 was such a good year! <laughs> Alright. 1984 was a perfectly fine article interpretation of the future. <laughs> And X delete a uh, scroll containing Speak with Dead. Who's joining delete. in with this poker game? Hmm? Who's joining in with this game? I am. Um, sure. We will participate I get in on this. I'll, I'll get in on this, sure. Are we actually playing poker or are we just like rolling? I have had. Well, so. Yeah, me neither. neither. Well, the activity doesn't have that, so... Well, does someone have Night Truck? Well, well, we just Isn't make it? rolls for it and call it good, because, uh... Do you guys just want to play Garlic Pwn as sort of, like, a sort of, like, break? <laughs> huh? I mean, I know how to play poker, it's pretty simple, so whoever's just got the <laughs> best hand. And you bluff all the way and stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and how do I tell whether or not my hand is good or not? Yeah, don't don't we'll tell, we'll me. tell me. Let's let's roll. Roll. It'll roll. make it'll make bluffing better. Let's just roll for it. <laughs> it is, you if I don't know what I have, you <laughs> will never know what I have. I need to start a game of poker. Yeah. Who's who's uh, joining in for this I am. random game of D? I'll join. Let's go. Join. Actually, no. It'll probably be easier. Exactly how to play poker. Back. It's a lot more simple. Okay. Here is the join link, guys. Oh, never mind. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> I have absolutely no clue how to play poker, but here we go. How about we all bet our gold? No. Yes. I'm betting ten as a DM. Anyone who can beat uh, beat me gets ten. <laughs> and I'm gonna be playing Arnold. <laughs> well, at least Sparkle isn't the house. <laughs> house always wins. The house always wins. <laughs> That means we have to, like, pay ten on top. Intended stock. Oh god, how much do I want to bet? How much do I want to bet? God, I'm gonna lose all that. I'm gonna bet one gold piece. Who's failing? Me. No, you have to bet ten because Sparkle bet ten. Oh god, no! Oh, do I have to be? Mm. Uh, you guys can just type in how much you're betting, in general. Oh, so we don't have to do ten? That's not how poker works, though. You have to match the person who goes the highest. Or oh, fold. fuck. Uh, we'll go with two gold. Or maybe one. How do we change our... Okay, we'll go two gold, then. So we'll just play this, but just two gold. Just one gold, guys. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna change my name for a second. We can be... Okay. Money. <laughs> How did we get there? 
<laughs> How did we get to gambling? You do realize that we're... You do realize this is like the definition of underage gambling right here, okay? Oh, shit, you're wrong. I'm not underage. <laughs> no, you're a problem. Yeah, there we go, the perfect emoji. Everyone in? <laughs> yeah. So one gold. <laughs> Let's go. Fuck. Uh -huh. I don't know what this means. What did I so... get? Oh god, oh Jesus. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Um, uh, all in. <laughs> if you go all in, it uh, at 10. I got a. Ugh. Ugh. I guess I'm going all in, considering that all of them is just one gold. Fuck. Wait, how, how did I not get. Why did I not get to do anything? What? Yeah, oh, this is I weird. Do anything. I, I don't know what this wait, so means. We, we... What does this mean? Why did I go all oh, in? I don't no, want to no, go yeah, all in. Oh wait, did I win? I, wait, oh. I don't want to go all in. Why did I have to go all in? It's all, It's just one goal. It's fine. Oh, so I think yeah, I it won. Forced me to go all in as well. It's weird. I think Why I won. Why did it force me to go all in? What? I mean, I had all in or fold, so like I didn't really have an option. We all bet one, right? So then, um, what's it called? Foul machine karate get five gold, and everyone loses one. Yeah. Uh, All in. Oh shit! No, don't I don't. Cards. I I think it's fine. Oh no! I think Ooh. I'm screwed. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I won again. <laughs> oh my god, Thomas, he's he's winning. Oh. Well, you... How am I winning? You barely won that. I got fifth. I got fifty-one. Okay, and Tamashi yep. and Karada Kira uh, just completely smoked the competition. <laughs> I didn't lose one. God damn! Don't mess with me. With five gold. Everyone else lose one gold. <laughs> well. Oh damn. Okay. Alright. Don't mess with me, alright? <laughs> that was the best luck I had this entire time. You guys hear the if bells screaming in the times. Woo! Food. Food, 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 food. Yeah, Thomas and Karada is just like, saying food, 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 food. You can literally smell the food. Sorry, I've got to go for like yeah. two minutes. I'll be back. Yeah, I need to uh, get my you winning. That uh, Louis gone. I need to get my winning food. You know, for winning that game. <laughs> and and uh, don't forget the seahorse thing, also. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, so, I'm getting spoiled. We're already gone. gone. Oh yeah, you Lumi is gone. Do you, you guys notice that Lumi has disappeared? <laughs> We're racing. We're racing to the cafeteria. Yeah, you guys are like right through the doors of the cafeteria and get in, like straight in the front of the line. And today they seem to have a very like sort of variety of sort of ingredients out there. Some avocado. There's like a whole heap of cheese. There's like there's some Ooh. salsa there. Some. Uh, chicken, there's some other meat there. Tacos! And at the very start, there's some taco shells. Yo! Yeah! Yo! Yeah! Oh god, now I feel like taco. Mm. What are you guys putting in your tacos? Mm. Everything. Not the cheese. A very small gecko, just sort of sitting on her shoulder, still sort of licking its eyeballs. <laughs> just sort of Everything. You guys. So, it looks like you dears are hungry today. Yes! Well, quick, uh, if you get in quick, you guys- I already finished. I got everything. Okay, Thomas and Karada just goes through and gets every single ingredient. I went so fast, the speed of sound hasn't caught up with me. <laughs> and meanwhile, what is everyone else putting on their tacos? Hmm, I think I'll just put on everything. Yeah, you just sort of start piling it up, it's like 
the bottom's nearly breaking in both yours and Parvati's <laughs> taco shells. Mm, and you put them on your plate so he'd have to go sit down. What could possibly go wrong? You know how you eat like a Dorito chip? Yeah. But like if you put on the side so the long like the uh long side is like you know, like that meme. Yeah, it's like that. I'm eating my taco like that. <laughs> Blue me and Stray, what are you guys putting on your tacos? Hmm. Everything that isn't cheese. And grabs out some of that dairy free sort of cheese. Ooh. Here you go. She's so nice. I don't want her to die, alright, Sparkle? I don't want her to die, Sparkle, alright? In this world, we have magical oh, cheese that doesn't different. have cheese in it. Holy shit. Vegans would be so proud of us. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you know. You know, classic chicken taco with a couple different peppers in it, and yeah. Uh, yes, the classic. What? Uh, what? Uh, what colors of peppers? Yeah. Hmm. Some uh, yellow, green peppers. The thing is that you never specify what kind of peppers. So it's just getting a jalapeno. <laughs> and she just grabs out a bowl and passes him over to you. Oh yes. Uh, give me a second. And she sort of. Um, uh, sort of looks over to Gorsha. Yes, Gorsha, what were you going to have on your taco? Whatever, I don't really mind. Okay. Everything like your friends there? Well. Sure. Yep, and she starts piling on all the ingredients. And then sort of uh, quickly sort of asks both of you to wait at the end. And goes to the back and grabs out like a plate of cookies. And with a wink, she goes. Now share these between your friends, dear. I know a few of you happen to like cookies. <laughs> Lumi's eyes, eyes widen at the concept of cookies. Yes, dear. Like a cat. She's just handing them to me, right? Now that I gave you cookies. And she just gives you a wink. And the gecko's just uh, sort of smiling. I love her, she's so nice. Sparkle, if you kill her, I'm going to break you mentally. Um, yeah, you guys, I don't want. Are you guys coming back to your tables with the cookies? Yeah. How many cookies are there? Uh, uh, enough, um, enough for all of you guys to have one each. All right. And you guys sit down at one of the very empty tables because nobody else is in here yet. There's only starting to be a few people sort of trickling in as you guys begin eating your tacos and time machine karate you're eating your tacos sort of weird and part and the rest of you, you guys see it sort of breaks partially and sort of falls part of it falls onto the plate while she's eating it i no, i'm like you got the tray and you got the tacos i'm just putting my mouth onto the taco while it's still on the plate okay <laughs> It's just it's, it's a whole, like it's it's how a dogs thing. eat their dog food, and like how dinos like dinosaurs eat. Oh, it's like, breaking. I do not care as long as I get the main ingredients in my mouth. It, it's fine. Okay, and Lumi and Korsha come to the table, and they've got cookies with them enough for each of you guys to have one each. Oh God, you're spoiling me. Hmm? And then the uh, nice um, red ones as well. Oh my god, yeah. You seem infused about these cookies. I love them. Who says that Tamashi or Karada? Tamashi. I give Tamashi mine as well. Yes! No, you have it, actually. No, you have it. Why would you give me your own cooking? No, you, you have it. They are delicious. Everyone has to have one at least once in their life. Cookies are the food of gods. Exactly. And as you guys Especially these ones. Cookies, well, the ones you haven't had before. 
it sort of melts in your mouth and it tastes so light and buttery. It tastes beautiful. And you can, you can immediately tell by spray and the other two are like, oh my gosh, cookies! Because these are some really, really good cookies. Damn right. <laughs> I am straight. Funny thing is, I'm actually eating a cookie right now. I, I made them like a couple. I made them at like three, and we went out to go to the park with my sisters, and we came back, and the cookies were ready, and they are amazing. <laughs> mm. They're not as good as these cookies are. Sorry. Let me. But then again, how a cookies a cookies ever bad is the question. Depends on who makes them. Uh, honestly, fair. Like, it can be, like, inconsistent sometimes. It depends on who makes them. Yeah. Um, example, someone that has gonorrhea. <laughs> I wouldn't you trust see, that's, not, that's not the fault of the cookies. That's the problem. <laughs> I mean, I would blame the cookies for giving me uh, gonorrhea. But I also blame the kid, but, like... The cookies are also to blame for carrying such a disease, it's ruining my appetite and cookies. Um, there's some other problems you should <laughs> probably address. But my cookie, <laughs> it's a cookie though. I, I, I don't want to <clears throat> ruin my cookie. I'm eating that cookie, <laughs> gonorrhea or not? Gonna rear nothing. Negative health we... effects be damned. I'm eating it because it's delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> beautiful. And soon enough, after you guys finish the cookies, Arad comes down with his tray and comes to sit next to Lumi. Hi, guys. Dinner looks really good today. Hello. Yes. Hello. Anyway, what uh, what are you guys doing this evening? I want to do a bit of investigation. I'm gonna go snoop. Do I have a glass again? of any kind? See if I can find out anything. Who is this guy again? I forget. Uh, Arlad. The guy with the flaming out is in your sort of like common room, dorm, whatever you wish to call it. Oh, wait, here's my bunk mate? Uh, he's the guy who in the forest, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh. That guy. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That answers the question. <laughs> oh my god, I'm fucking so hard. I regret nothing though. I might be a dumbass, but I'm a good uh, dumbass. Is there any like glasses or something I can grab? A glass of. Lumi points at his tacos. Are you gonna? Eat, are you gonna? Are you gonna eat those? I have a grenade. <laughs> So what's going on? I'm not clear. Yeah. Uh, I, we said that we were going to go snooping around, and I asked if he's going to eat his tacos. Or Lumi did. <clears throat> I'm going to presume he's going to eat his tacos. Oh, oh okay. Uh, he's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, so you guys got any plans for the evenings? Um, maybe a bit of investigation. Okay, do you want me to okay. maybe cause some sort of distraction? Well, I mean, we've just finished dinner, so we can just go back to our rooms, right? Yeah. Yeah, so there's not much needing to make a distraction. But... Wait, why, why are we investigating? The, what's it called, room that we were told not to be in. Shouldn't we wait until tomorrow so we can get our spells back? I mean, uh, like, what spells do you have that would help you? Alright, so I got Fog Cloud uh, and Teleportation Circle. Okay. Yeah, because I've got two spell slots, all. so I can cast both what's it called. The identify magic guys, uh, well, sorry, no, detect magic and the sky self. All right. 
we'll but, do that we'll, we'll do that thing where we put ourselves in a trench coat and pretend to be an <laughs> under, under, under. Yeah. <laughs> yes you are gonna like a spell slot from leveling up anyway so well one of my I don't know yeah no I think we should wait until tomorrow is our I reckon we can wait until tomorrow. Also, when are we gonna gonna do a food fight? Actually, I don't want yeah, to do that now because that's act... like that's like a bunch of food wasted, and I don't want to hurt the lunch lady's feelings. Okay. I think we established we don't need a distraction because we're yeah. not tunneling through the wall anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. Wait, <laughs> so how are we gonna get in? Very stealthily. Do we know a way in? Like, isn't there a lock on there? We hide. We hide in a cardboard box. There's an arcane lock, and I've got the tech magic, so I can find out what the lock does and if we can break it or not. I guess I, I, we should it. do that yep. tonight. But it's a ten-minute ritual cast. Oh, okay. Well, let's just go do that then. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. What's well, this? Like the red. The, this the, is, the, the, I put it. I've put our I've put our plan of sneaking in in general chat. I think it's a very elaborate plan, very detailed. Yeah. <laughs> For everyone watching the screen, uh, screen, it's basically someone in a box moving. It's a it's it's, solid, it's Metal Gear. Yeah, Metal Gear. It's so Metal Gear. Okay. <laughs> it's great game. No. Absolutely love it. Yeah. <laughs> Use my bonus action. Does anyone watch this the cardboard screen? box? Oh wait, never mind. I can cast it. I think I can cast it as an action. Only. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Wow. I, I think I can cast as an action if I've prepared it right. Uh, you can actually ritual cast uh, instead of ritual casting, which uses no spell slots. You can instead use a spell slot and cast it instantly. Depends on the spell. Though. How about you do that, and I'll keep an eye on the red cloak, and I'll I'll cast a message cantrip so we can communicate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, alright. Look. Okay, I, all right, I will let's mention do this. you can see all four of the red cloaks up on the balcony just eating dinner. As per usual. Hey. Alright, that's here. Okay. Wait, how far away is this door? This room? Uh, the room, it's on the opposite side of the campus where the library is at. So that's how far? Uh, I would say at least probably maybe 200 meters. Ah, uh, so I'm going to go for... Well, not... Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Do I? No. Oh. I know, I said, I said it in meters because I'm like, I can't visualize that amount of distance. In yeah. Meters. It would be about like six hundred feet, I think. Yes. Six. Oh my god! Not. I was thinking like maybe I can use it. Uh, what's it called? Uh, twisted magic, I think. Uh, the thing where you can upgrade your spells, but even then, that won't. Meta magic. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. That that ain't gonna work. All right. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean. Do your thing. I guess I'll just use a spell slot to cast it instantly then. Yeah. So all four red cloaks are up there. Yep, they're currently up there. Okay. All right, um, there's a chance. Go, go, go. Yeah, I, I wander off and head to that room. Yeah, you immediately sort of wander off, sort of slinking through the hallways. Anyone going with him? You know what? I'll go with him. Well, Tamashi will, I guess. Okay, so Tamashi and Korsha, you guys make your way over to the library and head towards the Forbidden Corridor. There's not too many people over here at this point in time. Everyone's busy eating. And you guys head over to the door, but as you guys walk towards the door, you guys realize the door is already unlocked. Huh, that's convenient. That is not convenient, actually. Well, uh, I take a look inside. And Korsha, you creep open this door, and inside you find a room. It's sort of covered in sort of shelves and stuff. It almost seems to be 
some sort of like like you would say it's sort of like records where there's a whole heap of records sort of kept in here you got, you can't sort of see the end of the room from where you are currently but there's a lot of like papers documents strange sort of objects on each of the different shelves most of which you do not recognize from your upbringing I think we should leave. Nah, we know the red cloaks are there, and we'll have a little bit of time at least. What if it's someone else? Hmm? I could leave an unlocked door open while they left. Especially yeah. a kind of door like this. That's a fair point. Mm. So there's books and stuff, right? Does yeah, anybody so hear anything documents. in there? <clears throat> a lot of documents. Is yes, there where you are now. is there any books that seem especially important? Like, is there any books like open uh, on like a table or something? Give me an investigation check, please. Are you going to head further into the room? Sure. Okay. Thirteen. Ah, uh, fifteen. Fifteen, and with a fifteen, you start sort of scanning the shelves. Tamashi, I would say you do. Uh, do the same as you guys start wandering in deeper into this place and there's a couple of spider webs around you guys have to sort of brush them off as you guys pass and eventually you guys come to what seems to be a desk with this sort of book upon it it's this sort of very fancy ornate leather manual or manuscript you want to call it that you said leather right Yes, and it's okay, cool. <laughs> sitting on top of the desk, and it's open. However, there seems to be a large tear down the middle of it, like several pages have been taken out of it. What is this book called? Uh, you sort of flip the book open to its front page, and you see the main words on it. Sue. Zoo. Zoo? Tasu, as Kasu. likes to call, uh, call it. Tasu? Yes. Uh, Wait, why do I like to say it like that? I don't know, you just you just say it uh, funny sometimes, and I'm like... Oh. I have no idea what you said. Zoo. Zoo? Zoo. Are you saying like the animal T zoo? No, Sue. Like T-A-S-U. Two. Yes, so it's sort of partially silent tea. Hard to catch. Yeah. Two. 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 Yeah, no wonder I yeah. didn't understand what you were saying. Yeah. What, what, what you Two. typed and like what you said like don't make sense. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes. Without a lot of context. <laughs> okay. Now, is there a I... page in this book? What was that? <clears throat> I, would, I would read that as Tesu. But Katsu. That sounds like something you'll index. find in India. It's like kind of like Katsu, food. but you don't have a T in the middle. <clears throat> Buckle, you there? Yes, I am there. Is there an index page or contents page? Uh, yeah, still yeah, contents. You can sort of take the book off Tamashi and flick into the opening pages. The first page has. Uh. This sort of very ornate sort of style of writing. It seems to be uh, by some. It's like imagine like the worst curse that you've ever read. That sort of like. Oh God. Page. Oh my that God. sort of writing. Okay. And as you flick open to the next page, these are like really thick pages, by the way. You find a table of contents. They're fairly hard to read, but from what you can decipher. Most of the pages are about sort of spirit animals in general, but from pages 86 to 94, it seems to be about the Su, Tasu, or the Su. So, All right, and then we go to those pages. Uh, those those are, the... are the ones that have been ripped out. Yeah, I assume so. So, somebody. Is messing with their Sue. 
What is, it? What is that? Like, is um, that like... You would remember that's the, the thing that bonds with the first third animals. Yes. In the Quasha. See, I remember things. Well done, Quasha. <laughs> uh, and for remembering that, you may take a point of inspiration. But oh, actually, no. remembering the little law. Wait, what was the thing that, like, like to that? I, I thing... still don't know what he remembered, and he just remembered it. Yeah. Uh, so, the Sioux is what is used to bomb people with desperate animals. I don't think... What... Oh, that golden liquid thing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah, I, I go out to leave. But I look happily to see if anyone's entered in the time we've been here. Uh, you start heading out to leave, and as you begin heading out, you see these large sort of footprints in the dust that seem to be in the shape of beer. Beer? I follow these footprints. The shape, the shape, the shape of beer. Of the beer shape of bear. Oh, I heard, I heard beer. Sorry, my bad. I know, I did pause. Just like, just like a bear, like they, they don't <laughs> be a mug. <laughs> they just look like bears on the ground. You know, nah, I, nah, I, I bro, nah, nah, this is this is the footprint right here. That, that's just the footprint right there. Just imagine like a two D version of that on the floor. That's the footprint. Of course, just a. Sort of large prints, you begin to follow them. And you sort of follow them outside of the room where you sort of lose them for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. But it seems he has stolen them, has stolen these, has already left. Mm -hmm. And from what you would know, these documents are incredibly important. There's a reason why they're normally kept under. Can I roll investigation? Magical effects. After all. Can I roll investigation to flop, find more clues? Sure. If you wish. Natural twenty. That being a twenty-six. Holy shit, bar. You start heading down the hallway, sort of looking left and right, and as you start walking down, you sort of drop down to your knees. Your fire bat also just sort of following you around as you pick up from the floor like these tiny pieces of sort of coarse black fur heading away from the room do you follow them yes most definitely <laughs> my god Tamashi? Well, I'm, I'm i'm going to assume that everybody is following kim because that is what i'm doing you're the only other person. Yep, that's, yeah, that's that, yep. Yeah, I'm going to follow him, I guess. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is interesting. You begin catching up with all the rest of the group as you start leading them to follow Actually, you. yeah, I wait for the rest of the group to come, though. That might be a smart idea. You gather the rest of the group as you guys begin following their, these sort of fine trail of hairs. And eventually, with some very difficult tracking on Korsh's part, you guys head back into the main building and towards the sort of meeting room where you guys originally sort of talked to all the red cloaks. But this time, you take a left turn. And everyone's already finished, you know, it's starting to get late into the day. As you guys. Shall we stay? come up to a large door. It is closed, but not locked. Should we open it? Uh, do we know where this door leads? Have we seen this door before? You guys do not know where the door leads. Has anybody mentioned the door has existed? Okay. Lumi will uh to some grey or yellow cloaks. It certainly does not seem forbidden, as they have already told you all the forbidden areas. Okay. You guys 
Yeah. <clears throat> mm hmm. What's in here? And who's opening the door? Huh? Who's what? opening this door? Uh, sure, and I'll, I'll, I'll open the door. Who has the highest, who has the highest AC? Who has the highest AC? Shh, it's okay. I'll open it's the good. door. I mean, are you worried that it's trapped or something? Absolutely. I mean, I can. Can I investigate the door, Sparkle? Sure. I'm more. I'm more worried that someone's behind it, though. You'll be I mean, sort of looking over. Feel the like door, you... looking over the nooks and crannies. And what did you roll? Is that a yes in my investigation, then. Yes. Or my own. I got a 17 on investigation. Very solid. And a 17. You start sort of checking the door for traps. It seems to be a very regular but ornate door. Screw it, I'm opening it. As long as she's opening it. I, I already volunteered to open it twice. The door and like sort of push it open. And it opens smoothly. And you guys enter through the door into what seems to be some sort of office. A very valiantly decorated office with two couches and a small coffee table in the center. And we have this, sides, but not math. There are large sort of shelves filled with books. And there's a chair that is sort of facing towards the windows away from you guys. And as you guys step in, the chair begins to swing around as this sphinx prowls out from behind the desk. And Is the other guy in there? Out. Uh oh. Wait. You guys see Benjamin Alderwood, the great, sitting in the chair, just sort of flippantly. And to the corner of the room, in the shadows, Corsa, you see this a figure who's got this black beard, who's got this sort of black beard tattoo right sort of across his shoulder. You can see it sort of peeking out, sort of nods and sort of bows to the guy and makes to leave the room. What are you guys mm, doing? He's nice. Oh, wait, wait yeah. Benjamin, is that you say the, we're here to report that, that the door guy, is or is it open. someone else? Uh, we we'll have to have a reason for coming here. That's worth yeah, coming here. Quick question: Is Benjamin the guy that we found dead, or is that another person? Uh, Benjamin is the one you guys found dead. Hey, okay. oh, sorry. Um, I didn't realize this is your office or stuff. I haven't really got a time to introduce myself. I'm Kosha. I believe no, you're... That, that is quite all right, Kosha. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You you work here. Yes, indeed. I already know your names. Okay, so... So, what is the nature of this meeting? Oh, we weren't really here for a meeting. We were just sort of, what's called, cool, wandering around. You know, it's still early days. We're exploring the uh, campus. So what, is this just room, your, um, what's it called, office? It is indeed. All the red cloaks have offices, and you guys sort of see he grabs some papers that he was looking on on his desk and sort of tries to subtly put them under some um, papers. They seem to be sort of frayed at the edges, and then sort of puts his hand over top of uh, it and sort no. of rests upon it. Yes, this is indeed my office. Feel free to make yourselves at home. And he gestures to the seats. Well, who was the guy in here before? He seems familiar. I may have seen him around. Uh, you mean the other guy? Yeah, the guy who left just before. Sanj. Sanj, okay. Yes, him and his bear familiar are quite good friends. We often come, come and have tea together. And talk about things. Okay. But 
other than that, it's more of a mentorship relationship. I used to mentor him, see. One sec. When I was with the Blue Cloaks. Ah, I see. Yes, and occasionally I still cool. and teach him a few new tricks. Someday he Fine. might become a Red Cloak. Of his own. Oh, well, your Sphinx is pretty cute as I reach out to pass it. Uh, you reach to out to pat the Sphinx, and it seems very stiff. Yeah, I was about to say, can I roll investigation to see? It, it, was, it does seem to reciprocate your touch, but it's got this sort of hollow look in its eyes, almost pained. Oh, is your pet Sphinx alright? He kind of seems a bit off. Oh no, he's been like that recently. Hmm? Ever since... Well... We failed someone. Unfortunately. And. We couldn't do a thing about it. Oh, that sounds sad. Indeed, it is. Oh, that's actually a fair point. I don't think gambling is allowed on Twitch. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, well. Doesn't matter. Just, it's just a little heads up there, Sparkle. <laughs> oh well. A little bit of, little bit of TOS there. <laughs> uh, I mean, we weren't actually gambling anything, so I'm sure it'll be fun. Yeah. Either way, cool. I mean, a quick question: Do you have any jobs or something for us to do? Because I mean, wondering if I could earn a bit of what's called, called what's a bit of gold to you know help pay for my studies. Uh, no, learn some already... spells and stuff. Oh, yes, I believe they did have it noted down that you want to be a wizard, correct? I want to be a detective, and being a wizard is very useful while doing that. Okay. Well, <laughs> we could set you on a job as a record keeper. See, we've got. You've got two rooms of records, the forbidden one, and we've got the general records. You could help out with sorting the general records, and we'll pay you handsomely, or we could just pay you directly in spells. If that is to your liking. I prefer to have a choice, so money would be great. Okay. What, I what was the other option? Spells. Spells. Yeah, you get, paid, you get paid in spells. And you'll be able to learn those if you want to, but only if you're a wizard. As I'm uh. sure most of you are aware, only wizards are able to learn new spells due to their studies. Is any one of us a wizard? I am. And we pay kosher in, in spells, and the rest of us in money? <laughs> It'll be poor, but powerful. <laughs> we could do something like that, potentially. However, we probably only need maybe at most one or two record keepers. Oh. <laughs> so the rest of you, if we, were, if we managed to find a few jobs for you, you could earn money doing that instead. I believe if any of you want to learn to cook, that... The kitchen maybe might have an opening. Mary might be able to teach you how to cook. You can help her out. She often has to get done a lot by herself. We have been looking for a new chef for years. Haven't quite managed to find one ever since our uh, last one left. Where'd they leave? Uh, family business. From what I'm aware. Uh... I'd like to help out, sure. Okay, I shall. Put your name down for that. And he sort of takes out a note and starts writing it down. Okay. 
what about the rest of you? I assume I got the job with um, what's called the thing you said before. Indeed, you have. Come here. Is he asking if we have any other questions or if we want yeah. uh, jobs? Uh, both. Either or. Okay. It does not matter. Hmm. Mm-hmm. No more questions? I think we're good. Okay, then. Then feel free to make and take your leave at your own time, or you can come sit down and join me for a tea and biscuits. Oh. Uh, I guess I do have one question. Yes? Kind of something I've been wondering for a while. Uh, if something were to happen to our spirit animals, what, uh, what happens to us? Nothing, if I remember correctly. Some people can be saddened by the death of a person who has great companionship with themselves, but... Most times they will be completely fine. The enemy. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, okay. And, uh, what about the other way around? The other way around? When you die, your spirit animal also dies with you. Anyway, I'm sad to hear. Yes, yes, it's depressing. I know. But do your very best to keep your friend safe. And he gives you this Oops, I mean smile one. that doesn't quite reach his eyes. Oh, uh, thank you for the job. When do I start? Welcome, Corner. And you may start tomorrow morning if that is what you wish. You'll have to get up a bit earlier than normal. That's fine. I might go to bed early then if that's the case. Yes. However, I believe your mentors did show you roughly where the records rooms were. Yep. Yep. So and they will be expecting you tomorrow morning. All right. Uh, what other jobs do you, uh, you have here? <clears throat> uh, other jobs I have here. Let me see. He grabs out this sort of scroll of notes and starts sort of looking down it. Ah, uh, yes, we do need some help, uh, more help with some wood chopping. If you guys will, if that's... Is something you'd like to help with? I believe we also need some help with cleaning as well. And that's about it for now. Unless you'd like to help with bookkeeping in the library. Um, can I think on it and uh, let you know tomorrow? Sure thing. I shall be here at roughly... Uh, roughly just past sunrise. Okay. Okay. And Stan, what about you? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Did I get get a name wrong again? Um, Actually, can I change my answer? Uh, yes. I'll, I'll just I'll just do wood cutting. Okay. Ah. Sure. I believe it's near the wood cutting <laughs> shed. Just tell, just tell him that you're there to help out. Why do we have a wood cutting shed? If you'd like to 
stay appropriately warm throughout the evening, then wood is normally a necessity. Anyway, I believe if nobody else wants any tea and cookies, then you guys are free to go. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Have a nice evening. And he's we will. Like okay. Waves goodbye. His smile Once we... still not reaching his eyes. I'd be concerned that they did. That is unnatural. <laughs> and you guys then <laughs> shut the door behind you. Yes. What are you guys doing now? Um, once we get quite a wee bit away, I just go, okay, at least he doesn't know that we know he's on... No, at least he doesn't know we know he's an imposter. Well, do Either we like, say that out loud and give us away? I say that quietly. <laughs> I say it quietly to everyone. Like, How okay, quietly? Least... Like, like yelling have... quietly or quietly, quietly? Quietly, quietly. Yeah, that's impossible to hear. <laughs> yeah, and you guys sort of, as you guys Fine. are walking... Like, you guys yes, that. enter into sort of the kitchen room as you guys are sort of talking on the way. And you see the kitchen lady sort of cleaning up some of the benches. Oh, why, hello. How was hello. Your... It was good. Oh, yes. I, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> anyway. Would you guys like some hot chocolates? Oh, yes. Yes, sure. I'm good. I just got to my bed and I got to what's called go for a wee bit. Probably be to the end of the session. I just got to sleep. Okay. Wait, what? What do you say? I've, I've got to go. Oh. So I'll just go to my bed and sleep. Okay, that's yeah. fine, dear. Right. And quarter, you head off to your bed and go to sleep. And... The kitchen la uh, lady, sort of wearing this sort of purple gown. It's fairly late in the evening. After all, there's not too many people here. A couple blue and green cloaks are sitting around chatting. Some are also like, having hot chocolate. As like you know, nine p.m. Uh, ten. I would say around eight or nine. Oh, that's kind of early. Not really. You you guys are like twelve. It's not that early. Oh yeah, fair. Dark I, out. yeah. As she grabs out some. Hot chocolates for you guys and places on the table. For me, that's like lunchtime. Now, if you guys need anything else, please do let me know. It can be quite Thank tiring you. sometimes with all your training and whatnot. This has all been in one day. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's been such a long day. Two sessions worth. My God. Uh, okay. Are you well. guys are you guys saying anything to the kitchen lady, or are you guys just sort of sitting down drinking your hot chocolates? Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. It's great. Thank you. Amazing. Feel free. Uh, to this is delicious. If you guys need have to get anything off your chest at all. I'll try as best as I can to help you. This angel should not die, Sparkle. I swear to God, <laughs> she is an angel. Do not touch her at all. Don't worry, Sparkle won't make her die. She'll just make it as that the angel was actually like one of our enemies all along. No, no, not not even that. Not even that. <laughs> he is perfect the way she is. <laughs> Sparkle probably uh... won't just do anything to her. Sparkle's incredibly quiet right now. <laughs> I'm just letting Sparkle. you guys say it. I don't want to say anything that might sort of influence anything either way. But... Sparkle. <laughs> promise me. Promise me you I'm won't do anything, anything to her. about anyone? <clears throat> anyway, what are you guys discussing? Crazy day, uh, huh? Yeah. Mm. Say. It's so awkward. I won twice today. Well, if we if we need somebody to trust, 
amongst all the NPCs we've found so far. Uh, really it's my good. roommate, maybe the kitchen lady. I don't want anything to happen to her. Um, <laughs> and the trailer seems like they'll do anything to uphold their uh, illusion or their... Yeah, so... We can just abuse that for a bit until they do something wrong. Well, it definitely seems like uh, they've gone through a lot of trouble to infiltrate the uh, upper echelons of the... Are the Red Cloaks still here? Uh, no, they have all left by now. And it is getting really late. And you see more and more of the blue and green cloaks are leaving and heading to the dogs. <clears throat> You guys are still hmm. sitting here, and the lunch lady has not kicked you out, nor has anyone else yet. Lunch lady is is amazing. She is a best. I know. And nothing will happen to her. Nothing bad <laughs> ever happened. Oh, oh, uh, Lumi's gonna finish drinking and uh, get up from the table. I think uh, probably by the time we turn in. Yeah, I want to check the door. Uh, which door? The one that is forbidden. The forbidden one? The one you guys were at earlier? Yeah, the the one that we can't go in. So, yeah. Uh, I want to check if that's open. You leave the sort of uh, the sort of dining hall and head over to there and you discover it's locked hmm. once again wait what wait does does it uh, wait do all the red cloaks have the ability to lock the door um you don't know i don't think uh, we'd know from that what you heard the high cloak the one wearing the sort of purple cloak is the one who's allowed to unlock it, um, unlock it. but however they can give sort of their like this sort of like object which will allow it to sort of unlock for the red cloaks from what you've heard so that object actually no it can't be him then like he couldn't have locked the door because we went directly straight to his office uh, you you would imagine opening the door is is like using the object and that just closing it. It's just sort of a fairly simple task. Ah, oh. well, still though, he kind of closed the door if we were just exiting. Like he had to go past us. Um, do you want? Me and to no list? one reported do, it. Do you want me to list two sort of gone past you, guys? Yeah. Um, probably some of the blue and green cloaks that have left the dorms. You had that guy, the person who had the bear tattoo in the office who went past you guys as well. Wait, when? Uh, when we were in the room guy, talking to him. In the shadows of, as, remember that I said in the shadows of that room you can see a person with a sort of bear tattoo peeking out and he sort of passes the room and exits the door behind you guys. That was what I said. Oh. I did not hear that. I, I thought he was just like the guy that we were just talking to. Nope. The guy yeah, you no. guys were just talking to in the sort of office was Benjamin Alderwood with his Sphinx. Oh, so it's just two of them. God damn it, no. Alright. And Tamashi Karada, whilst you're at the door and Lumi's already gone off to a bed, Stray and HR, you guys are still sort of sitting there when the lunch lady sort of exits and sort of locks up the kitchen for the night and it sort of heads over to your table. Feel free to stay here as long as you guys want. I'm not going to tell any of the 
a red or blue cloaks or even green cloaks that you guys are staying up a little bit later than what you guys should be allowed. And I'm going to be completely honest. If I have to choose between the, her and one of the you guys, I'm sorry. Honestly, I don't blame you. And she gives you guys like a little bit of wink and she heads out. You guys do notice she's wearing this sort of the purple sort of type uniform as she exits out the doors and sort of closes them behind her. Not actually locking them, just leaving them open for you guys still. But she Aww. does head out. She better be getting you paid a good way. And yeah, what Atri and Stray and Karada and Tamashi, are you guys heading back to the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. Well actually yeah, I'm going uh... to my room. Okay, you... Yeah, I'm going to my room. Uh, actually how late how late is it? Uh it's past it's past him here you guys are supposed to be in bed. But she sort of allowed you guys to stay here. It's also lights out now. So if you went to your room you wouldn't be able to make your just pack straight to bed. Honestly, I'm still injured. I still haven't uh, recovered from the last time, I, from like the uh, thing. I'm still four hit points off, so I might just go take a rest. I'm still not fully healed yet. Okay. And Atri, Lumi, Tamashin, and Karada, and Sray. You guys all head off to your respective dormitories and take a nice long. Breath. Yes. And oh god, I'm finally at full HP. You guys wake up early in the morning, and what are you guys doing? What time is it? Uh, fairly early in the morning, probably six a.m. And when is breakfast? Uh, breakfast is at eight a.m. But you know the kitchen lady gets here quite a bit earlier. Hmm. I'll let her do. I think. What to do? Hmm. I got nothing. <laughs> and I would mention Stray's also in your room. Eight tries in a different room, and so is Lumi. Wait, why is Stray in my room? Uh, because you guys were sort of originally taken by the same room of Grey Cloak, so you guys are in the same room. Wasn't well, I with that other guy? Yeah, the you were with as well. <clears throat> so it's also Arbad, like Stray, Tamashii, uh. Rider, and I believe, in that room. There are five people in that room. Believe so. My god, it is a crap ass shit. And it's just the one bed in the middle, and we have to fight for it every no, night. Oh, I, I thought. Beds. Yeah, I was thinking like bunk beds or yeah. something. Well, I'm gonna go see if I can help the kitchen lady do kitchen stuff. <laughs> yeah, you wake up and clean yourself off and head. Towards the kitchens. Time Machine Karate, you would notice Stray heading towards the kitchens. And Good to know. Stray, you enter into into the kitchens. It's fairly early in the morning. There's basically one or two sort of blue or green clothes once again. They just tend to get up early and stay up late. And you head over to where the kitchen, uh, the kitchen lady's door, and sort of push open the door where you see her. She's sort of inside preparing breakfast. Ah, oh, well, hello there, dear. So, what can I do for you? I'm just bored and looking for something to do. Wondered if I could help out in the kitchen. Box oh. body or something. I was actually trying to decide what we should do for breakfast this morning. We've got quite a few things that need to be used up. Would you like to help me with that? Sounds good. So, what are we thinking for breakfast this morning? Maybe pancakes? Or waffles? Potentially? We are not mm. starting this a debate, alright? They're both good. <laughs> Well, maybe we I mean, pancakes are clearly superior. <laughs> what about both at the same time? Maybe like not like it. not like together. I mean, like combine them both. Make a new food. Oh yeah. yeah turning yeah. a pancake. You dish. 
creeps. I mean, if we're just trying to get rid of materials, then why not put out a selection of both? Mm. Yeah, I was just... I was wondering that. I think Ooh. I could probably do that. Yeah. Do you think... I you know, think you can wish this battle for me, please? Yes. Thank yes, you. I do. And... That's not... What? You guys sort of... Go on. Yeah, you, you wish that a bad... Um, like, better. It, it depends on the type or what you're trying to make. I would know because my grandfather used to make some brilliant waffles. Here. Wait, what's the different... Like, are there different whisking types? Like, what? Oh, there's, different, there's, there's different methods to how you can put ingredients. Uh, whisking aerates them. Makes them super fluffy. And you might need to use it if you are using egg, egg wipes, uh, wipes for your thing. But you also might need to fold the ingredients in. Oh my god, I just remember. The Japanese pancakes, they are so freaking fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I always... I always... I... making then. Oh my god. And Stray, you begin sort of helping her out. Uh, one uh, one main thing you sort of notice about her is she's she's always been wearing this sort of purple uniform. Like, everyone else has their sort of uniforms in sort of grey, yellow, blue, green, and red. She's oh, she's the only one you've e really seen with a uh, purple uniform. I'm going to remember that, but I'm not going to comment on it until I have a reason to. It's just a cooking uniform. It's an apron. Uh, it's, it's not the actual apron. The actual oh. apron is white. I mean, yeah, but like, still, we can have cooking gonna, clothes. I'm going to keep an eye out for any other kitchen staff early. in the future that are wearing that? similar mm -hmm. outfits. What was that, Lumi? So, didn't you mention a purple cloak earlier? Oh, I did. Oh, uh, where? Uh, do you want to roll history on this, Lumi? I mean, I don't think I'm there, but sure. I mean, you could have just had, like, thought. Oh, yeah, I would have seen it last night, actually. Yeah, it's uh... just something you think of when you're sleeping. Yeah, his... Like when you're having, like, anxiety attacks at midnight. <laughs> so... Yeah, exactly. 17. Ah, uh, 17. You did, you did remember, like, your mentors sort of mentioning something about the cloak system. So, at the bottom mm -hmm. of the system, you have the sort of grey and yellow cloaks. In the second tier, you have got the green cloaks, third tier is the blue, and the next tier after that is the red cloaks, there's only four of them. And then you've also got the high cloak, the purple cloak, which is the highest tier, there's only one of them. The Pope. The Pope cloak. And everyone here, they sort of, everyone has to wear their own special uniforms based on what rank they are. So, you know, like, the woodcutter wears a sort of green uniform. He's always really stayed a green cloak. You know, most of your mentors are blue cloaks, and the librarian herself is another blue cloak. You know, everyone sort of has to wear them here. You remember that when you first arrived, you had to get into your cloak. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's not being my uh, Oh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, with this revelation in mind, I'm gonna head down to the kitchen in the morning. Yeah, you wake up a little bit later after you have this sort of epiphany. Are you grabbing anyone else? Uh. Sure. I'll go wake up, uh. Whoever's not with the, the group. Yeah, you head over to eight. I think you mentioned that I'm not like in the yeah, you're in, in the, the same room, room as everyone else. You're in yeah, so I'm assuming you know where we are. Yeah, so you... yeah, I know where you are. So I'm gonna go to where they are. You Wake knock, them up. Uh, first knock on Atri's room as he's Please. the furthest from the kitchen, and Atri, you just sort of like wake up from your bed. You're pretty tired, uh, tired, but feeling oddly refreshed. Are you here? 
He would huh? be asleep in real life. He's asleep. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, there was a rustling. There's a rustling. Hello? Atrii, get back here. Sleepyhead? Hi, what, what's happening? Sorry, oh, what? Uh, Lumi sort of knocked on, the do on your door to wake you up. Oh, sorry, I want, I want to go put my soup bowl on the sink, sorry. <laughs> Uh, hi, I, 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 I wake up and I, op I open the door, like, kind of, like, just groggy, like, hi. Hi, hi uh, how you doing? Uh, I, I have a very important question to go ask, uh... Mm hmm I thought of while I was sleeping, um... Mm hmm You wanna follow me down there? Sure. It might be, uh... Yeah. Uh, is anybody else not... Uh, I am also not there. Yeah. Okay, then uh, I'll go looking for Tamashi and Karada. I mean, uh, everyone else, I guess. Yeah, you hit into <clears throat> their room and sort of knock on the door. And Tamashi and Karada, you guys hear a knock on the door. Karada opens the door and you see Tamashi doing this, basically. <laughs> ah, yes. Help me, he's going insane. Uh, I cannot help you with that. Uh, well, I can't provide a distraction. <laughs> Go on down to the kitchen. We're uh, we're gonna go ask the librarian why she's wearing purple. Librarian? Hmm. You said librarian. Did I say librarian? Yes. I said yes. the lunch lady. I thought. Got video okay. <laughs> Video evidence, Tim. You got me. Oh, uh, my you're, uh, you're no. going to be so Definitely not the librarian. You're going uh, to remember this at night and you're going to feel so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say you said uh, lunch lady. Yes, lunch lady. Yeah, we're going. Mm. All right. Yeah, and you guys all head to the kitchens. You can, uh, guys can't seem to find Shrey, but I would say Karada, you can probably figure out that he he did say he was going to see lunch lady. Yeah. Lady of lunch. And you guys all enter sort of like the dining hall. There's now a, cu a couple of people here, not many, just a few smaller groups scattered around. And... Only like one or two people, like the very early birds. <laughs> oh god, that's so disgusting. Who wakes up this early? I know. Genuinely, I I was you know you know how it, apparently it took me a long time to wake to respond, right? Judging by your reactions, but like but I I like to imagine that's just canon because Adria does not expect anyone to be knocking on her, on her door this early in the morning. Uh, <laughs> yes. This is true. This is true, like, bro. Yeah. Hi. Like, when I answered the door, I was knackered. <laughs> well, Tamashi was up and going already. <laughs> I'd rather get up at 1pm, thank you. Yes, please. <laughs> Alright. All right. Uh, so we're all in the cafeteria now with uh, everyone else. If we're not, uh, we'll head in the back realized, and find the lunch lady. I kind of just realized that a bunch of 12 year olds saw a dead body. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's not like. I was just thinking, like, there was, like, crying and shit because it's a dead body. Is this how kids react? But yeah, I'm an just, orphan. I've seen worse. But we just oh. robbed a dead body instead. I mean, like, even if you've seen crying. worse, like, still. The person, uh,. You watched me loot him. What are you on about? Exactly. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, you guys, as I said, are in the dining hall. What are you guys doing? Uh, I would lady. like to go ask the lunch lady uh, why she wears a uh, purple uniform. Uh, this is why you wake us up? God damn. You Shh. head to <laughs> the door and sort of give a knock and she sort of opens up the door and goes, Come in, come in. You guys must be after your friend. And she sort of 
uh, looks back at Stray, who's got a little bit of batter over his face, like happily sort of whisking the remaining of uh, remaining parts of the batter before sort of oh. dolloping them on trays. This is why we need uh, actual education. And, and she sort of cu- uh, gestured you guys in. And she's got like in the room you guys haven't been to yet, uh, Tamashin Karate, you guys were sort of in that kitchen. She sort of takes you into a different part where it's sort of like an island ta- uh, table with a couple of chairs at it. An island table? Yes, it's like an island. Island table. It's called an island. Oh, those. Yes. Hmm. And... Alright. Oh, the houses look nice. What the hell? Oh my god, they all look beautiful. The houses look beautiful. What the hell? <laughs> no, I made myself jealous. Alright, let's continue. So, we've been having a good morning, haven't we? Be- uh, haven't we, Stray? Stray? It's been a good morning so far, <laughs> I'd say. Oh. What am I doing? Well, sorry, I'm like tunnel vision on this batter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've been such a good helper. Of course, we'll adequately sort of repay you if it is food you want or potentially <laughs> gold, if that is also what you wish for. God, no one even knows the worth of gold in this world. This is just sad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, what was that? Ev- everyone, everyone seems to wear uh, colors signifying their rank here, and uh, I was curious One. why. Uh, you have a purple uniform, and what that means. And then you see uh, her face sort of morphs to. A slightly more serious one, but she's still got this sort of bubbly look on her face like she normally has. Ah, oh, yes. Well, you see here, here at the Navi, uniforms are incredibly important. Mimi, would you like a cookie, anyone? Stray, you feel free to come take a break. Come join us at the table. I will happily wander over and slowly nom on a cookie. <laughs> I'm nom cookie. Well, you see, several. Uh, by here... the way, I'm probably going to. I'm probably going to have to call it here because I've got to go do stuff. Okay. Uh, was fun. Was a fun session. Bye bye. Uh, cookies. Cookies. <laughs> Fair. Bye. Uh, bye. Ah uh, yes. So you see, there are. Uh... Five different ranks here. The grey and yellow cloaks, we give them a choice of colours that they may wear. The green cloaks, which happen to be the sort of trainees, they've passed a significant milestone in their training. You then have the blue cloaks, fully fledged Navi, incredibly strong in their own rights. Several have gone on to be nobles of different regions of Tarvea and other pretty glorious jobs, to be quite frankly honest. And then you have the red cloaks. Those are, they mostly focus on specific incidents and focus on running this whole place. And then you have the final cloak, otherwise known as my cloak, or the high cloak as everyone likes to call it, even though I, I sort of prefer that everyone sort of refers to me just by my name, Mary. Oh. Anyway. I see. Please don't go sharing this around, but I quite enjoy my cooking, so, and also helping people out. So I quite often come here to just do some general cooking and keep an eye on things. However, recently, and she sort of leans forward, I've been trying to track someone down. They've Mm -hmm. sort of been eluding my sights for quite a while. But recently there's been some stuff sort of heading, uh, going on, and 
I've been here to just sort of keep an eye on things, as I suspect it may have leaked in over here. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for a person who goes by the name of The Change. I doubt I you guys hate them. That's her. ominous. <laughs> we had two different reactions. <laughs> that mom must hate them. <laughs> I see, I see. Mm -hmm. My little familiar here senses something. And I believe you guys have had at least some sort of incidents with the change, from what I'm aware of. And she sort of, right. pat, um, sort of pets her little gecko. And then he looks over at Tamashi and Karada. <laughs> Since I'm the only one in this voice chat besides Stray, that isn't Ooh. even... <laughs> okay. I don't know if Stray's there. I just don't want to... Exactly. I don't want it to be awkward. We're the main character <laughs> of the story. <laughs> you you also look over at Stray. <laughs> uh, my eyes have glitched over and I'm still nobbling on a cookie. <laughs> Feel free to That's why the word makes her <laughs> They have here for eating. So, what does this change look like? That's the problem. Even I'm not sure. I've only really the sky heard of them in passing, and I've been trying to track them down. So these uh this change guy, can he like uh change uh how he looks? I suspect that is the case. However, I've yet to be able to track him down. And Through the oh. across her there has led me back to here, the the Navi training grounds. Do they also have their own spirit animal by chance? Mm. I'm not sure. I didn't see it. Last uh, last time I caught a glimpse, only a brief glimpse of them. I well, whispered to Lumi, should we tell her about the the muddy place? If you know uh, what I mean. If anybody can help us, I think it would be her. I think we should show you something. Okay. I think uh, after Everyone sorted with breakfast. Meet us at the training area. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I can That's deal with that. Plan. And All you right. guys might as well have some freshly cooked breakfast now. <clears throat> and she sort of grabs up her sort of breakfast and passes it along to you. I will notify your your mentees. Just sort of. That I am taking you guys on for a little bit of cooking training. All right, that'll work. Okay. Time skip to when anyway, the breakfast that is. That is where we're gonna end today's session. Fair. Yeah. Yeah, then we can have everybody here for the uh, interesting part. Okay, so favorite moment of the session, Lumi. One second. <laughs> Time to see Karada then. Uh, me winning that poker game three times in a row. <laughs> you technically only won one. Well, technically I won three times, but like after the first match, people left, and then uh, one more game happened. <laughs> and yeah, three games. Yeah. Or, it, or maybe it was two and I'm just misremembering. I don't know. Lumi and Stray? Favorite moments, please. Um, figuring out why this kitchen lady was so special and also Cookie. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say uh, my one history check for the session where uh, I actually. Uh, Use my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like my little reveal? 
great reveal, yes. But yes, that is, as I said, the end of the session.